coast to coast, border to border, all over the world wide web, and on 50 plus stations throughout the U.S. and Canada, KFRK in Denver, Colorado, and our good friends over there in Casper, Wyoming at K Rocks Radio. Live on JiggyJaguar.com. Thanks for joining us today. We are live 2 to 5 Central, 3 to 6 Eastern, and 12 to 3 Pacific, and 24 to 7 at JiggyJaguar.com. Gail Murphy joins us on the telephone. And uh, Gail, how are you on this fabulous, fabulous day? Oh, I'm just terrific. It's so good to talk to you. I think it was just last year at this time we hung out together. Yes, and indeed. And we gabbed and we gossiped and we were <laughs> everyone else to shred for each other. Gail, let's talk Oscars. What was some of the more important yep. moments that uh, stood out last night, my friend? Well, 12 Years a Slave won the Academy Award 2013 Best Picture, which was no shock because every major pundit and website was touting that as the winner. It's a film about a free black man, a free black man kidnapped into slavery in the pre-Civil War South, and it what and it did walk away with the Oscar. But also, yay, the out of space thriller Gravity led with seven awards so the two together emerged the big winners which is really interesting because for the most part they're independent films the large studios are very busy and preoccupied making sequels and amusement parks while the (laughs) indies are just getting in there and getting the job done (laughs) ellen degeneres was in her second term as the oscar hostess and she, you know, single-handedly dragged the show into the Twitter sphere. You know, she uh, they did so much online social from first screen to second screen that they actually wound up crashing Twitter for a short period of time. She did a series of selfies and then group photos, and it was just her crazy, wacky Ellen self. <laughs> so, um, and, and that, you know, that was that was that was just you know, fine with me. Um, uh, The Dallas Buyers Club won three Oscars. Um, Matthew McConaughey won for Best Actor Oscar for his lead role in in, in Dallas Buyers Player. It's about an oil worker with AIDS who helps others with AIDS uh, get around the medical channels to buy the drugs they need. And Jared Leto won Best Supporting Actor for playing a cross-dressing AIDS patient in the film. Now, uh, Best Actress went to Kate Blanchett um, uh, for uh, Blue Jasmine. I don't know if you saw her otherworldly psychotic portrayal of this uh, sort of Bernie Madoff wife. And then Lupita Nyong'o won uh, Best Supporting Oscar for um, uh, also for 12 Years a Slave. So, you know, like I said earlier, this really underscores independent filmmakers in the Academy Awards race in Hollywood. You know, five of the nominees were financed outside the traditional studio system. But one of the best stories for me, as someone who covers this kind of stuff, Dallas Buyers Club was a screenplay that started out in 1992, and it was optioned at one point by a large studio. Um, well, the last time I talked to Matthew McConaughey, he told me that it had been turned down 36 times. It was stuck in development for years until 2012 when a Texas chemical trader helped finance the film for just a paltry, paltry $5.6 million, um, just weeks before the shooting, and the film was uh, distributed also by an independent film company, and then, of course, it, it walked away, you know, with, with, with gold, two-fisted gold. What can I say? Well, I'll tell you, um, it is uh, Gail Murphy joins us today here on the big broadcast, and if you want to get more information, gailmurphy.com. She's got all sorts of different things over there. Uh, check out her videos. Also get her free interview tips newsletter it's available over there at gailmurphy.com she's hollywood's correspondent and interview expert and um talking oscars today 28 minutes after the hour um what were some of the more uh, i guess uh, moments as far as the speeches are concerned that stood out to you my friend well i think the one that everyone's actually there's two that everyone's really talking about both of them actually there's three 
Um, I would say Jared Leto, um, because he just thanked everybody under the sun and went on forever. But it was one of those going on forever and saying everything, but it was really authentic and it was really good. Um, let's see. Then there was uh, the best actress, who's, of course, you know, everything slips my brain, Kate Blanchett. Uh, talked about she just praised all the other actresses Sandra Bullock and and uh, she just said just wonderful things about all the other actresses so hers was really good and then um, Matthew McConaughey talked about when he was younger um, he talked about who his heroes were and his heroes throughout his life have always been himself well ten years into the future and then he said that his dad who never really got to see him um, become successful was probably watching the show in his underwear in heaven drinking a beer. So I love that. I thought that was I, I love it. I, I love it. I hadn't heard that I hadn't heard that kind of speech before at the Oscars. You know what I'm saying? Gay. A bunch of guys in a bar. Yeah. <laughs> Gail Murphy with us today, and uh, we're talking Oscars. GailMurphy.com. Uh, 29 minutes after the hour, we've got uh, Gail. Can you hold on for another segment? I'd love to love to keep chatting with you if you got another segment in you. <laughs> okay, hold on just a second. We're going to take a uh, quick time out here with Gail Murphy, and when we come back, we are going to have more. So uh, stay tuned here to the world famous Chicken Jaguar Show. Back here in a few moments with more Gail Murphy. to make a lot of money on the internet from the comfort of your home i have consistently made over thirty thousand dollars every month for the past eight years i have received daily nine hundred dollar payments eighteen hundred dollar payments three thousand dollar payments and even ten thousand dollar payments it's fun it's easy and beginners are desperately needed right now sign up today at www.pcmteambuilder.com forward slash coupon joe and make potentially thirty thousand dollars a month just like i did again the website address is www.pcmteambuilder.com forward slash coupon joe what can plexus do for you it isn't a secret that being overweight has become a worldwide epidemic in addition to normal concerns of clothes not fitting lack of energy and low self-esteem being overweight can lead to dramatic increases in diabetes heart disease cancer stroke arthritis and depression consider the following eight out of ten americans over the age of 25 are overweight 174 million americans are overweight or obese then worldwide numbers are just crazy. They're expected to double by 2030. 25.8 million children and adults in the United States have diabetes as well. If you're like millions of others, you've probably tried this diet or that diet or that pill, but you never got the results you wanted. In fact, the Centers for Disease Control reports that 95% of all diets and weight loss programs fail. Finally, there's an all-natural healthy solution to help you lose weight. Originally made for diabetics, Plexus Slim is now available. PlexusPinkDrinkHealth.com. People around the country are experiencing amazing results, and you can too. It's www.PlexusPinkDrinkHealth.com. Listeners ask us all the time, how can we support the operation? Well, head over to our website at www.jiggyjaguar.com. That's right, jiggyjaguar.com. Click on the Amazon banner on our page. It will take you to Amazon. You will still see all the great prices, all the great selection, all the great convenience. But when you shop Amazon, we get a little bit of a credit from Amazon, and it helps us keep the operation going here. Recently, we had best-selling author Nat National Award winner Dan Perkinson, and he was talking about Amazon. I listened to your promotion for Amazon.com. You can buy my, you can buy book one and book two, which just came out. Look so at that! I encourage your listeners to go there and and support your operation. You don't need to buy anything you don't want or need. 
You just do what you do on Amazon. Buy everything that you usually buy there, but do it through our link at com. We get a small percentage, as I mentioned earlier, and it helps really fund our operation. Thanks to our friends at Amazon.com, and thanks for you for supporting us, the great listeners of the world-famous Chiggy Chegwire Radio Broadcast. Let me tell you about search engine optimization that is performance-based. It is SEOgame.com. Visit them online and see the difference. SEO Game puts in over 30 hours of work to start keyword phrase search engine optimization services without a setup fee. Cool? Yeah, it's very cool. If you don't like your results, you can opt out at any time before 30 days without paying a dime. At the end of 30 days, your first payment is due and you get billed monthly thereafter. Five keyword plans begin at $200 a week 30 keyword plans begin at 500 bucks if you want your business to grow you need to get seo game performance based seo go to the website right now seogame.com that's seogame.com how many of you would like to make an extra $21,000 in the next 21 days call 678 678- 318-1896 right now for all the details. How many of you would like to receive cash daily to your doorstep? Call 678-318-1896 right now for all the details. What if you had a turnkey system that did all the sorting, sifting, and selling for you? Call 678-318-1896 right now for all the details. Sochi Olympics were nearly flawless but devoid of joy. Once early hotel problems were solved, The games ran relatively smooth. Buses were on time. Traffic non-existent. Arenas were clean and functional. Events occurred without a glitch and the feeling of safety was palpable. Pre-game fears of terrorism, infrastructure issues, and ugly demonstrations never materialized. But those fears seemed to scare away the soul of the games. President Putin's security ring of steel protected the games but also excluded much of the Olympic magic. There were no impromptu parties on the city streets and little or no interruptions interaction with the residents. The Olympic Park felt mostly empty and cautious. There will be high praise for Putin's $51 billion project, but the Olympics shouldn't be just a project. It should be a party. People were too cautious to party. The failure of one snowflake at the opening ceremonies created only four rings, which may have been a premonition. I'm Dave Ferguson of BeyondTheCheers.com, and this has been a Beyond the Cheers moment. Talk with Jiggy right now at 1-866-763-1242 and email JiggyJagwire at JiggyJagwire.com. Gail Murphy back with us here on the big broadcast. And uh, we're talking Oscars, talking about some of the different things that happened last night out there at the Oscar Awards. And if uh, you want to watch us do our thing over there on the old you stream, you can do so at our website, jiggyjagwire.com. 37 minutes after the hour, and uh, Gail with us today. You can join us each and every day, 24-7 at jiggyjagwire.com on the TuneIn apps and Radio Loyalty. And our podcast is available over there as soon as we go off the air at jiggyjagwire.com. Gail Murphy joins us back. Gail, what were some, uh, what, what, what did you think of the Matthew McConaughey speech? I thought it was very interesting that, uh, when he, when he brought up um, God, everyone's looking around, going, "Who? Who's he repped by? Yeah, Who's his agent?" I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. But, you know, he's a good old boy from Texas, and his, you know, his parents raised him right. And you know, when you're standing up there, having competed with every other actor in Hollywood, and you've got the Oscar in your hand. I don't think the haters have much room to really get heard in that whole debate. So I thought that was a good thing. And, and you know, at least he, you know, at least he didn't try and convert anybody while he was there. He just talked, you know, from his own heart. Yes. And yes. Experience, and, and that was a good thing. I wanted to also mention something about I. I, I talked about uh, Jared Leto's uh, speech. Yes. And one of the things that he that he also said um, when he, he talked about the film, and then he also said, and I'm quoting right now, to all the dreamers around the world watching this in places like the Ukraine and in Venezuela, I want to say we're here. 
And as you struggle to make your dreams happen, to live the impossible, we are thinking about you tonight. And I thought, well, in, in, in light of the uh, recent events, just in the last couple of days in the, in the Ukraine, I thought that that was just really perfect because he really walked down the middle of the road with that. He didn't, you know, bring out the big guns and he didn't bring out the peace signs. He just kind of just took just a really great high road and said, you know, hey, people, we're here. We're here. It is. And, uh, and I, think it's, I think it's touching. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very much is. Gail Murphy with us today. Uh, give me a little bit more details on that because uh, I'll tell you, it was it was a really, really cool speech. Yeah, yeah, it was. You know, the telecast attracted an average of about 43 million viewers. And you need to know that that's up about 6% from last year for the biggest audience in 10 years. Um, what's really interesting is that, you know, the crappy weather everyone's having around the country did not in any way, I mean, it did positively affect the viewership. Now, it, when you talk about Ellen taking the reins for the second year, how she did, was she great, that's really going to depend upon who you ask. If you're a diehard Ellen fan and, and she can do no wrong no matter what, then it was all perfect. But my pal, Tim Goodman, over at The Hollywood Reporter, uh, uh, THR.com, wrote, hands down, single-handedly, the most scathing review of Ellen as the hostess. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> it was crazy. But it's a good read, and he's a great writer. So if you just if you thought it was great, and you can't imagine anyone thinking that it was crummy, <laughs> you may want to read what Tim has to say. It's Gail Murphy with us today here on the big broadcast, coast to coast and boulder to boulder, all over the World Wide Web and on 50-plus stations throughout the U.S. and Canada 24-7 over there at JiggyJaguar.com. Gail Murphy joins us on the phone. We've got a couple minutes left to go here with Gail. Um, Gail, what, what, what did you think of the, uh, the, the interaction and the second screen experience? We kind of touched on that at the beginning with, uh, with, yeah. with social media and all this stuff and Oscars and, and everything else. Break that down for me. Well, you know, uh, the, the whole concept of second screen is, um, and, and here's a little lesson in, um, in social media and what's going on. Um, second screen is your computer screen. First screen is your TV screen. So what happens is you watch uh, an NFL game or you watch the Super Bowl and Twitter blows up. That's all that Twitter blows up, Facebook blows up. You have the Oscars on TV. And Twitter blows up, Facebook blows up, Pinterest, all that stuff. That's all second screen stuff. But if it's not on the first screen, it ain't going to be on the second screen. So people are continually talk about the demise of television, but TV will it always stay first screen. Now you have stuff like Netflix coming in uh, to be a player in this with Orange is the New Black and the Kevin Spacey um, series, and people are, you know, binge watching and, and so on and so forth uh, because people don't want to pay the price of what cable is, and they're getting the same quality programming. But because it comes actually out of that box, that TV box, for the most part, it's still considered first screen. So you have first screen and second screen, and that's how that works. Um, interestingly enough, I think I mentioned earlier that um, that Ellen took some selfies. And yep, she took yep. some group photos, and um, she actually came back and said, we blew up uh, uh, Twitter, we broke it. Now, if you're one of those people that, you know, does, that hasn't seen any of the nominations, and there's a lot of them, I know. I oh, I yeah. Know oh, yeah. If you're people like me, if you're people like me, I like a good Harrison Ford movie. <laughs> I like a good Bruce Willis movie. Take off your shirt, guys, and I'm there, right? Uh. Don't get in my head because I have, I'm in my head enough when I'm driving on the freeway, Okay. Um, so, if, but if you go to the movies with your kids, you'll be happy to know that Frozen won for the best animated feature film and original song. So that was very cool. That's um, that's brought to us by the Pixar people. So that was um, that was a wonderful thing to, to see. You know, that thing stayed at number one in the box office. I don't know for like a month, up against yep. heavy yep. 
movies with some, you know, long tails, but they walked away with their tail between their legs on when they were up against Frozen, I'll tell you that much. Well, it's Gail Murphy with us today. And, uh, Gail, I appreciate you making time for us. Is it, it, it's just gailmurphy.com. You don't have any other? It's G-A-Y-L, no E, G-A-Y-L, Murphy, M-U-R-P-H-Y. But I also have interview tactics because I'm an author. I wrote the book, How to Survive the Media Without Getting yep. Covered. Yep, yep. So I teach people how to survive you. <laughs> hey, that's that that's not hard here. I heard that. I read it on Twitter. Yeah, it's uh I'll have to say it is uh it is it, we we do uh I have people all the time get a hold of me who who want to do interviews or I request interviews. They're like, "Well, well what 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 are we going to talk about?" And I'm like, "You." And they're like, "Oh." And I said, "If you know you, then we'll do just fine. Yeah. That's exactly <laughs> right. I tell my people, <laughs> you're so funny. I tell my people all the time, prepare, prepare, prepare an event. Know what you're going to say. Yep. Just think more along the bullet points. Just don't memorize anything or you're going to sound like a robot. And next thing you know, you're not going to be on the phone with them anymore. Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> much so. If you come to my website, interviewtactics.com, I will send you a bunch of free stuff, and, you know, you, and, 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 you'll, and you'll like it, and it's good. It, it'll be fun, good stuff. Well, it's fantastic. So, uh, yeah. um, as always, Gail, you do a uh, fantastic job with us. I always enjoy chatting with you about the, uh, yeah, about, about the Oscars and, and everything else. And uh, you, yeah. know, you know your stuff, my friend. That's, 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 that's all I can say. <laughs> oh, honey. Thank you. Well, well Gail, I want to I I thank the Academy. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic stuff, Gail. Once again. I, I, yeah, I appreciate you being on with us.